I want to preface, most of my information comes less from actual speedrunning experience and more from general gameplay experience as well as other online resources. The Enter the Gungeon speedrunning discord is a great resource for new players who want to learn how to speedrun the game along with the speedrun.com guide section on the Enter the Gungeon speedrun page. This video is simply some quick tips to give you a baseline to prepare you for more advanced strategies. The Any% percent category is the category we'll be talking about today because it's the most popular and the best place to start for beginners. Essentially, what you have to do is climb through all five chambers of the Gungeon, defeat the Dragon, and shoot yourself with the gun that can kill the past. Pretty simple. The first tip I can give is to make sure you activate speedrun mode and increase speed out of combat. Speedrun mode gives the moderators a visual measurement of what your time was, since Enter the Gungeon speedruns are ranked based on the in-game time rather than the real time. This is convenient because you don't need a timer on screen like Live Split, and you can let the game track your time for you. The game doesn't record videos though, so you have to screen record your runs. The setting to increase your speed out of combat is pretty self-explanatory. When you aren't actively fighting enemies, you just move faster. Obviously, that's pretty useful when your objective is to be fast. Another good tip I can give is to ignore damage. If you take heavy damage at any point in the run, you shouldn't feel compelled to restart as playing through the chambers and getting experience with them is important even if you know you won't be able to finish the run. I used to restart in chamber 1 all the time when I took damage, but then realized that I was completely underprepared when I reached the 4th or 5th chamber because I had played so little of them in comparison. Don't make the same mistake I did. Also recognize that you don't need lots of hearts to win a run. Winning a run is possible without a lot of extra hearts, and while beating any chamber's given bosses without taking damage grants you an extra heart, sometimes the smartest play is to take damage to kill the bosses faster. Usually not, but sometimes. I will say, a good time to restart a run is if you run into a mini-boss. Sometimes, you have a chance to bump into one of two mini-bosses, the Fusilier and the Shadow Magician. You probably won't be able to do better in a run where you're fighting a mini-boss than in a run where you aren't fighting a mini-boss, but again, just learning the chambers is worth continuing the run despite knowing you might not beat your PB. Another obvious tip is to not explore every room in every chamber. Yes, I know it sounds obvious, but I recognize the mindset that getting as much gear and money as possible would make you more efficient when fighting enemies. I'm here to tell you, gear does not necessarily equal speed. Skill equals speed. That being said, it's important to recognize that Enter the Gungeon, along with most dungeon crawler games, is chock full of RNG. Every run will be different, and some runs will go smoother because of the gear that you accumulate early on. Some runs will be absolutely terrible despite your best efforts due to poor gear. Relying on gear, therefore, is an easy way to make you hate the game and do poorly on your runs. Focus on beating the bosses as quickly as possible, and eventually, Lady Luck will reward you for your efforts. My final tip is simultaneously the most important and the cheesiest tip. Make sure you're having fun speedrunning the game. I don't know your life story, but I'm pretty sure your life doesn't depend on your success at speedrunning this game. That's another reason I recommend trying to finish every run you play. Sometimes finishing a run that isn't a PB is more rewarding than restarting runs endlessly in an effort to improve your time. Also recognize that your attitude and emotions can interfere with your gameplay. Someone who is relaxed and having fun with the game will play better than someone who is raging and on the verge of smashing their gaming setup. Just have fun, relax, and play the game and you will improve. Hopefully these tips have helped you ease into speedrunning Enter the Gungeon. Once again, I have to shout out the Enter the Gungeon speedrunning discord and the Enter the Gungeon guides page on speedrun.com. If you want to learn more advanced techniques and more in-depth strats, I recommend checking both of these out. I will be sure to follow up this video with a more in-depth guide to speedrunning Enter the Gungeon should this video perform well, so be sure to subscribe if you liked this video and want to see more videos like it. Thank you so much for watching, and good luck on your speedruns.